Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here with a little bit different of a zombies video than normal. Today I want to rant about something that's really been irking me lately, and that is the random drop for new schematics in the Dark Aethers. So ever since Season 3 Reloaded came out, I've been working on getting all the schematics unlocked. Now, I personally don't think these schematics are the best when you compare to previous season schematics, but I do like having everything unlocked, and so I've been working towards that. And I do think that the dead wire detonators are pretty fun, especially on the RGL, and unfortunately, that's the last schematic that I need unlocked. And the gameplay that you're seeing in the background here is my eighth attempt at trying to get the dead wire detonators. Now, I don't expect schematics like this to be just given right and it shouldn't be something easily obtainable i do like the challenge of getting it so having to go in using the elder sigil into like a tier 5 zone and completing contracts to get them but this caveat of you might get them i think is a little bit too far it's almost on like a uh, level of like gambling right you're just gambling whether you get it or not every time you go in there especially considering you have to burn through resources right golden armor plates uh legendary tools crisp cap crystals all this kind of stuff you have to burn through those resources to hopefully get a schematic when you are done with the run they have added in a more guaranteed way of getting a legendary tool and a uh, flawless crystal out with the addition of these you know triangles in tier three um, where you where you complete that kind of like little ritual thing kill zombies in the circle uh, but even that is somewhat of a gamble because at least to my knowledge uh, only the first three teams that make it to each to one of those uh, gets that reward and after that it's shut down for everyone in that match and so it just creates this mad rush at the beginning of every match of people just booking it to tier three and it's just up to chance if you spawn near a vehicle or you have someone in your squad or if you're solo uh, with a scorcher and you're able to kind of you know jump over into tier three quickly now as far as the other items go so like uh like classified items and um the wonder weapons I think that's fairly subjective as far as like what you need to complete the dark aethers uh personally for me i really just need like one other thing so like golden armor plates or mags of holding or uh, actually the dead wire detonators um those i think are pretty helpful uh to complete the dark aethers any of them really um but especially this one because the hordes of zombies in this new dark aether is just massive um the other thing for this Dark Aether, this Season 3 Reloaded, is the VR-11. Um, I think I've only completed the Escort ACV contract one time without the VR-11. Every other time, I fail that contract unless I have the VR-11 to heal it up. Regardless of how many of the pulley grenades I have, uh, if I have one or two sentry guns on the thing, for some reason, I just fail at it. So again, it's another resource that I need to burn through in order to complete and give me a better chance as that's one extra reward portal that will pop up to give me that chance of getting the dead wire detonator schematics. On top of burning through resources for the tier five runs using the Elder Sigil, uh, I also have pretty bad luck with just getting another elder sigil inside of tier five to go at it again so most of the time when i complete a tier five run um i don't have another elder sigil to go straight back and so i have to then jump back to tier four um and hope i get an elder sigil within tier four and now most of the time when i have to do that uh i do go to the original dark aether because i think those rewards are much better than the other two i would much rather have the golden armor plates um personally i think just kind of not having to worry too much about how many spare plates you have is kind of a little more important than 
other things like mag mags of holding or the dead wire detonators. Um, that's just my personal opinion. But again, it's more resources, more time that I have to put in to try and make it back into the Elder. And another thing that um, I kind of mentioned, there is a, an aspect of time. So there's a relatively big time commitment to completing an Elder run to have a chance at this schematic. Uh, you know, you can say, well, the Elder only is 15 minutes, but you have to think of the time before that in Urzikstan farming contracts to build up essence to buy whatever kind of item you need in order to complete the run. So for me, that's a lot of the Kazis, the, pol the pulley grenades, um, and then I like to have one, potentially two, sentry guns. And with the state of tier three, you know, for the most part, tier three is just full of people farming contracts. And so it's just a mad dash of who can get to whatever contract just spawned first um, so that you have um, that 5,000 essence. So you have this extra time now, which is pushing an hour because you have the 45 minutes in Urzikstan, the 15 minutes in the Elder. And then that's assuming you also already have an Elder Sigil don't have an elder sigil you're spending again that roughly hour to tro to go try and get an elder sigil now for me you know to get an elder sigil i go back to tier four so i use the regular sigil i mean kind of obviously if you don't have an elder you can't go into an elder to get one but um and i know those ones i think they're like 25 minutes technically but it doesn't take me all 25 minutes i Probably takes me closer to like 10, so a little less than an hour, but it's still a lot of time. And again, I have to spend time in Urzikstan to get Essence in order to buy the things that I need so that I can go and complete that. So now you're pushing, you know, potentially upwards of two hours for, again, this chance, this gamble, this random occurrence that you get the schematic that you're looking for. And now, like I said before, I don't expect things to be handed to me and I want a challenge. So two hours isn't necessarily bad. It's the, the big thing of chance, this randomness. And I think my last frustrating point with this is that Call of Duty has the answer. They've already figured out the solution for this problem. And they gave it to us in the first Dark Age. So with the first Dark Aether, the schematics that you unlocked were on a set order. And I forget what the order was. I believe it was Dogbone, Aether Blade, and Golden Aquilates. Could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that was the order. And so you just had to complete all three contracts in order to guarantee that you get all the schematics. And it didn't matter the order that you completed the contract. It was just get all three done here's the guaranteed order that you will get all of the new schematics so again if you were starting from essentially scratch you don't have an elder you spend upwards of an hour of getting an elder sigil and then you spend upwards of an hour prepping and then running that dark aether in order to um, get all the schematics so it's two hours so the time commitment itself isn't the problem, it's the time commitment that plus this random chance of it happening. This now puts all the power in the player's hand, because now if I spend all this time and resources and maybe just don't prepare enough, I don't bring enough self revives to go down too many times, or I don't play a... Uh, I don't do like kind of the right movement or something on a contract, like especially those escort ACVs. Uh, I tend to fail those a lot, even in the old Dark Aether, the original. Um, if I'm not like well prepared or do kind of enough things right, I tend to fail those a lot. So that 100% is my fault. It's now the player's fault, and I take ownership for that. Instead of the game kind of arbitrarily through these loot pools going, hey, congratulations, you actually get nothing. And look, I get it. I get why they kind of went with this route. Um, they want players playing more. They want to keep player retention. Uh, the sad reality is Zombies doesn't really get a whole lot of brand new content. And even the new content that we do get, yeah, it's just, you know, kind of the same thing. You unlock a Dark Aether, you go in, get these new schematics. Um, 
it's the sad reality that we're in but i think it was the wrong decision to do that and i think they could have easily struck a balance they could have gone with something where maybe the first week or two after we get the new content for those first for that first week or two have the guaranteed structure so when you go in if you do complete every single contract you are guaranteed one of every schematic type. after that week or two you can go back to that random route where now it's just a random chance if you go into the elder and complete a contract if you're going to get a schematic or not i think that's a fairly fair route personally um but that's my opinion who knows maybe in the grand scheme of things not that big of a deal maybe i'm just being a little too whiny you know, i've seen posts on reddit about oh we'll just join up with the random squad join up with the random squad try and get into a six man go into the elder most likely someone will get it uh, the schematic you're looking for in a reward rift they don't need it they'll give it to you you have it unlocked but again it is still a chance there's a chance of that happening and uh you know it's very much an increased chance but still a chance still just kind of a gamble so you know if you're so inclined let me know let me know in the comments do you think it's egregious kind of this route that they're taking with how schematics are unlocked do you think it's fine do you think that the this kind of like one or two week period where it goes to the guaranteed route right the guaranteed schematics as long as you complete all the contracts you think that's a fair kind of compromise essentially uh for unlocking all the new schematics. Realistically though, in the grand scheme of things, this probably won't matter because we do have the hype cycle starting for the next Call of Duty game. So Black Ops 6, the promotional material has started coming out for that game. And I know Zombies is like Treyarch's baby, so I'm sure they're cooking up something really great for everyone. Uh, but until then, you know, I do like this game. I do like Modern Warfare Zombies. I will continue to play it. Um, I'll continue to grind to try and get these dead wire detonators. And, you know, we've got, what, three more seasons, four, five, six uh, of content. I will, of course, be playing it. I'll be making videos for you all. So until the next video, I hope everyone enjoyed this. Peace.